We're asked to solve the given equation using the construction and deconstruct story, also known as the story of the variable or the story of x. We will first write the construction story, which are the operations performed on the variable to create the given equation. Then we will write the deconstruct story, which are the steps that will undo the construction story and provide us with the steps to solve the given equation here. We begin with the variable, which is x. And now looking inside the parentheses, notice how we have three x minus four, and because three x means three times x, the first step in the construction story is multiply by three. So step one, multiply by three. If we multiply x by three, we have x times three, but because of the commutative property of multiplication, x times three equals three times x, which gives us the expression three x. Inside the parentheses, we still have minus four, which means step two is to subtract four from this product. So step two, subtract four. If we subtract four from this product, we have the expression three x minus four. Going back to the equation, notice how we have two times this difference, and therefore the next step in the construction is multiply by two. Step three, multiply by two. Using the commutative property, if we multiply this difference by two, we can write that product as two times the quantity three x minus four. Going back to the equation, notice how this product is being increased by five, or we're adding five to this product. Step four in the construction story is add five. So if we add five to this product, we have the left side of the equation, which is two times the quantity three x minus four plus five, and this is equal to 21. So the result of performing these operations on the variable is 21. So the result is 21, which gives us our complete equation, two times the quantity three x minus four plus five equals 21. And now we need to write the deconstruct story, which will undo the operations on x and give us the value of x or the solution. To do this, we reverse these four steps and also perform the opposite operations, or the operations that will undo each of these steps. So because the last step in the construction story is add five, the first step in the deconstruct story is the step that will undo adding five or perform the opposite operation of adding five, which is subtract five. Going back to the construction story, notice the third step is multiply by two, which means the second step of the deconstruct story must undo multiplying by two, or perform the opposite operation, and therefore the second step in the deconstruct story is divide by two. Step three in the deconstruct story must be the step that will undo step two of the construction story. To undo subtracting four, or to perform the opposite operation, we would add four. And following the last step in the deconstruct story is the step that will undo the first step in the construction story. To undo multiplying by three, or to perform the opposite operation, we divide by three. The four steps of the deconstruct story are the four steps we perform on both sides of the equation to get back to x or to solve for x. Beginning with the original equation, is to subtract five on both sides of the equation. So minus five on the left, minus five on the right. And now we simplify both sides. On the left, plus five minus five is equal to zero. On the left, we have two times the quantity three x minus four equals 21 minus five is equal to 16. Step two, we divide both sides of the equation by two. On the left, two divided by two simplifies to one. The left side simplifies to three x minus four. On the right, 16 divided by two is equal to eight. Step three is to add four to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, minus four plus four simplifies to zero. 
the left side simplifies to 3x. 3x is equal to 8 plus 4 is 12. And the last step is to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Simplifying, 3 divided by 3 simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. x equals 12 divided by 3, which is equal to 4. The solution to the given equation is x equals 4. To verify this, let's substitute 4 for x in the original equation and make sure it satisfies the equation. Let's do this on the next slide. We found the solution to the equation is x equals 4. So now we substitute 4 for x in the equation. Performing the substitution gives us 2 times the quantity 3 times 4 minus 4 plus 5 equals 21. Simplifying the left side of the equation using the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. We multiply before subtracting. The left side simplifies to 2 times the quantity. This would be 12 minus 4, and then plus 5 equals 21. Inside the parentheses, 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. The left side simplifies to 2 times 8 plus 5 equals 21. Simplifying on the left again, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 16 plus 5 equals 21, and 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 equals 21 is true, which verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.